Hello, my fashionista. Is your girl Nadej Stahl? Um, <laughs> well, it's been some time. Um, every time I do this, uh, you know, this videos is like uh, I can see you all and I can connect with you all. I miss you. It's been some time. I've been busy. Uh, remember my last blog? I told you guys that I went back to work, so I've been doing the training because it's a different position. It's more on a technical, on a you know, on a technical side of it. Um, so it's keeping me busy. And then I fell behind a little bit with, uh, you know, with my blogging. But uh, today I'm here. I'm going to be talking about something that you guys know that I'm passionate about because each time I have, I'm doing my blog, I have a collectible book. So I finally, finally um, found a place that I was actually traveling down to South Florida over on the west side, you know, like a West Palm Beach side. And then I discovered this shop. Oh my goodness, I, I'm telling you guys, it's like uh, being in the Hamptons, South of France or St. Bart. But anyway, that's, it fits my style, you know? Um, but anyway, what I found there is the collectible biopic of fashion books. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, I hope your day is going good. And I always like to start by saying, if this is your style, my blog is about fashion, lifestyle, or the luxury, of course, lifestyle, uh, anything. And if you guys have any blog idea, please drop me a comment. And then again, as always, I'm open to comments. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? So I'm going to go on. Uh, if you like the video at the end of it, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to start my blogging and show you guys my collectible. Today, I am dressed. Ooh, I want it to be a little trendy. Uh, from time to time, I like to wear some things that are just, uh, you know, what's going on in the fashion. And then, uh, you know, as you can tell, everything is just today. It seems like everybody are having, uh, you know, good time with their fashion. And I wanted to make sure that uh, my girlfriends are not out, out of place to be polite. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and start so I can show you guys um, what I'm going to be unveiling. Okay, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, so let's start. And the shop that I was speaking of is called is Lifestyle So Chic. It's down in Palm Beach Island. So if you happen to be in South Florida and in West Palm Beach, check them out or even just on uh, social media. So I'm giving them a shout out because they were very nice. There's a girl there named Sarah and then Chloe. They were very helpful. Um, exceptional, exceptional customer service. And that's uh, one of my key points when I really like a, a shop and I will give them a shout out. When their customer service is existing, because there is places where you shop sometimes, the customer service is non-existent. I'm one of those people, I'm very particular when it comes to that. If I'm going to spend my money, it doesn't matter the cost or how much I'm spending, but I expect that service. And I think all of us does. I don't know about other people, but I know most of us do, you know. So even if I wasn't just spending a penny, I'll expect the customer service, you see, because it's an exchange of service. But anyway, I'm going to move over to show you guys. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I haven't opened the book itself, but of course I have opened my thing. So, um, let's start and see what I'm talking about. Hello. So here, this is the Dior one. This is the Christian Dior, uh, of course. I know nowadays they just call them Dior, but this is a Christian Dior. So this is basically the collection of uh, Christian Dior, you know, Maison Christian Dior. Okay, so I wanted to talk about some of these just yes, so we can, um, one second here. I know I brought my letter opener because that's the appropriate way so we can all see what I'm so excited about. And I love these things. I always tell you guys, I have loved fashion um, all my life. I don't think that will ever change. I mean, <laughs> I've been on this earth too long. Uh, for that to change, that passion still, uh, you know, out there. Um, anytime I see something with fashion, beautiful pieces, I like that. Um, let me put my glasses on. And then, of course, I'm wearing my uh, Zenf eyeglasses. Yeah, I told you guys I discovered this brand also. I did a blog. If you haven't got a chance, please go ahead and then look into this brand. This is another thing. Um, I love the glasses. They're very stylish. 
Um, again, when I just like gushing about things that I'm passionate about. When I find something, I'm loyal to a fault. So if you're a brand out there, we're looking to collab also with me. I mean, I'm passionate. Anything that I do, I'm passionate about. And I think that's what most brands want, including my own. So when I like something, I am faithful and then I stay put. Okay. And so let's start with my Christian Dior. What's your whole thing? Just even the thing. I know. Uh, it's not going to be too much, but we just wanted to take a glance. Oh my goodness. I am already like <laughs> over the moon just when I get a chance to read about this director's foreword, uh, the introduction. Of course, I'm not going to be reading all this, but I just wanted to share with you guys. You know, some of the history behind the Christian Dior. I, I mean, come on now. Ah, voila. Look at that. That's the label. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid in a candy store. What else? Look at the fashion. So from a different generation, different era, our Maison Dior started. So this will tell us behind everything about them. Um, I mean, truly, I'm just, ooh. I'm so mesmerized about everything that we can say. Hold on a second. If I have a different way, I can flip the pages just to see the quality of the work. Huh? I mean, I'll be taking my time. That's why I purchased them because these are collectible items. Again, they're collectible, so they're not cheap books. If you really love uh, something, you will collect them. I love art. And of course, when art aligns with, uh, you know, fashion, I'm in. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Absolutely elegant. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's my Dior one. Um... Let me move over. <laughs> of course, no other than I had to find the Chanel one, you know? Coco Chanel, you can see them. So I had to find the Coco Chanel. So we're going to open the Coco Chanel. Madame Coco Chanel. Hmm? So. Okay, so I'm doing the Madame Coco Chanel. Um, this one, uh, this particular one, I've been looking for because they're not easy to find. Uh, again, like I said, a shop that I found over in West Palm Beach. Oof, I'm telling you guys, um, I couldn't help it. But look at that. Um, this one, uh, this particular one I've been looking for because they're not easy to find. Uh, again, like I said, a shop that I found over in West Palm Beach. Oof, I'm telling you guys. Um, I couldn't help it. But look at that. So, the author of this uh, biopic is uh, Edmond Charleroux and Chanel and her world. Friends, fashion, and then fame. So this will tell us a lot about Madame Coco Chanel. Eh? Yeah. Again, oh, just me. I'm just over the moon. When I found this, I was like, no cost spare. You know? There you go. But this is again the history, everything about her. You know? It's a biopic afterwards. You know everything that she did. It'd be interesting to find out some things. You know, sometimes when uh, they tell a story, you watch movies and stuff, um, the story is told diff all the different ways. <laughs> but uh, it's good to read a little bit and then you have a better understanding of the, you know, the history behind it. But this is the one for Chanel. You know, the sketches and stuff. Look at that. La Parisienne, de bon goût et dans son élément. So, is the Parisian with a good taste and in her element. That's the translation of it. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to move over. 
And I hope you're enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying it. You're probably like, oh, what am I just talking about now? But I'm just talking about something that I'm passionate about. I love collectible books. Every time I'm doing my blog, I have one because I do have a, you know, I have a small library uh, <laughs> in my house. So they're heavy, so bear with me. I'm trying to just see if we can open this one here. Yeah, this is the next one. Oh, this is another one that we're going to be excited about. Of course, what is the fashion without models? Yeah. So as a designer, you design the clothes. You need someone to fit the silhouette and the, you know, the clothes. So, of course, no other than a bazaar model. Huh? Look at that. So, this is my bazaar one. It's very nice. So, let's see here. And this is about the head to flash birds. Hmm? I'm telling you guys, I'm just like over the moon with my book, my collectible book. These are things that makes me happy. And then if you wanted to share just things that makes you happy, you know, like I said, I'm open, leave me blogs, comments, let's talk about it. Yeah, we are friends after all, isn't it? Yeah, much love. So anyway. This is the bazaar models. Again, there's no fashion complete without models. Oh, voila! There you go. So different styles. It's funny when I look at like a, this belt is a, a Bottega Velita. I do have it, and the ones with the big buckle. But back in the days, these things were already in. We're talking about maybe two generations, isn't it? Wow, who knows? But now when you look at it, you're like, wow, it's back. But that's how fashion is. Fashion calls and comes back. So when you have your pieces and you know the unique pieces, the things that you love, don't be so fast to get rid of them. That's why I always talk about revamp your closet and shop your closet. Um, there is a lot of pieces you guys will notice that I have. Um, for many years that I was, uh, you know, you know, working for, for luxury goods and you know different department stores out there. Every time I used to attend uh, trunk shows when I was a personal shopper. Um, I will just keep anything that is unique. If it fits me, I keep it in my closet because you know why? You're here. And then I have daughters. You never know. They may be my father, the footstep, and love fashion. And, but anyway, I, I like that. That's why you will notice that things are always revamping, goes and comes back. Hmm? Look at that. Very nice. Oh, wow. Regarding Naomi, Naomi Campbell, she was the look that she was very young here. You can see a lot of the old, you know, the young face. Um, but now when they were young, of course, yeah. And now actually even Carl Lagerfeld was involved with this, you know, the bazaar model, you know, may you sort of rest in peace, but he was also part of this, you know, finding the models. Oh, but look at him. Oh, this must have been somewhere in Versailles because he looks like a, huh? Versailles, let me see. Yeah, look at that. He just beautiful. Ah, the until Carla like friend, you know? Nice. You guys see. And then I'm looking forward um now that the, the pandemic is kinda, you know, settling in a little bit. Um I'm looking to do back. I'm gonna do my uh, overseas blogging. I, I can't wait and I'm sure you all can't wait. You know, I'll be going to Europe. Uh, I will go see my family, but I will take advantage to kind of connect with you all all that and then my other friends all over the world about this blogging, you know. So, look forward to that. Um, hopefully, things going back fast. But this is for the models. Again, like I told you guys, I'm showing you guys, but I will, you know, take my time, of course. That's why I bought it in, just to see. This is what I was talking about. Look at this belt here. This belt now, you probably seen it everywhere. I do have it, I have pictures on it. Oh, I will throw a picture in this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So fashion do evolve very much. And of course, I wouldn't complete this collection without talking about, of course, my Asuline collection. You all know. And then again, they, you know, they're quite, expensive again collectible so years from now you don't know how much they're going to be worth but those are my asleep and of course we're talking about my favorite beautiful city perry 
services and you have a business phone number of course her website uh, c'est très chic dot net and of course if you need to you know consult with us or you just wanted to reach out for whatever the reason may be uh, info at c'est très chic dot net and then my instagram i have two one for my business at uh, chic c'est très and nadege style Nadege style that's on my blogging site so if you wanted to collaborate and you want to just uh, direct, uh, you know, send a message to me as well. You can use my, uh, you know, my Instagram one, my Nadege style. And I do have, of course, this channel, my YouTube channel on the Nadege style as well. Yeah, Ramona is always stay stylish at all the time. So it was a pleasure. Again, um, I tell you guys, um, I'm going to try to keep up with this, okay? But I appreciate the time that you have taken to watch me today. It was a pleasure uh, seeing you guys. Um, I know I went on like two weeks, so I make sure that at least once I do have some videos on my archive. That but the only thing is, is editing is a lot of work. And trust me, if you can ask other bloggers out there, I'm sure they can relate. Um, I did actually mention last time in my blog, but I'm gonna also mention it in, in this one. If there is any of you, and and then again, it's business, so it's not like it's gonna be free, you know. Um, you can tell me your cost, but leave me a comment helping with editing my videos i think that's another problem that i have because i'm so busy with other you know ventures that i have in my life and when i take time it takes tons of time just to edit and then post so again it was a pleasure today 
hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up as always like comment and don't forget to subscribe okay à très bientôt au revoir